Today we wanted to break down some of the reproductive stages of a corn plant. So right here you can see what we call silks. And if we zoom in to this plant, um, these are the silks. And then this right here is the ear. And it will, once it's developed, form a full ear right here. And then this is what we harvest. So the first thing that we will see start to develop is what we call the ear shoot right here. Um, so this one has two ears. This ear has developed earlier and you can see it is silked. And so each one of these silks connects to a kernel of corn in this ear. Um, and we'll break one open. We're in test plots right now, so we don't want to damage those. And if we look up, right here is where eventually our tassel will come out on this plant. If we go over to this row, we can see these tassels have already come out. Um, and if we hit one, maybe you saw a cloud of pollen. Um, but each one of these tassels is what has the pollen in it. And that is what fertilizes the silks that are right here. And then once it's been fertilized, each one can produce then a kernel of corn. So we're in border plots right now, and what we're gonna do is actually break off an ear of corn. And we'll open it up and see what it looks like. So this is our ear of corn that we just pulled off of the plant, and we're gonna open it up and take a look inside. So I've started breaking this open, and I'm doing it one-handed, so it's a little tricky. But you can see where these silks come all the way down and then if we break it out of its husk we will see our kernel, our ear of corn. So there's the ear of corn and as you can see if you actually took the time to trace it, I don't know how well I can zoom, every one of these silks is attached to a kernel of corn and once this silk has been pollinated so you can tell they start to turn brown and dry out once they've been pollinated um, once every one of these kernels has been pollinated it will then start to go into what we call grain fill and grain fill is a pretty critical time because that's when your plant is absorbing a lot of nutrients a lot of water a lot of sunlight so it needs maximum um, optimum conditions at that point. So here is our ear of corn. All we've done is just pull off all these silks. And so you can see here um, our number of rows have already been set and our number of kernels that will go all the way to the top have already been set. So nothing to change here. All we need is um, good resources from this point forward during grain fill and hopefully we'll have a good yield this year.